this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen, and we're gonna show you what they got. Ta -ta -ta. Well, take a look at that beautiful DVD footage right now. Thank you. 
pretty cool, don't you? I mean, looking at all the cool DVD, Blu-ray, and whatnot. Of course, it's just me this time. Again, Jake has got a job. It's working him pretty late. We're hoping to get him in for a pickup. Maybe, maybe a vlogcast. We're just going to keep our fingers crossed on that. So let's talk a little bit about some highlights. I'm not going to do like an hour long. I just want to talk about some highlights that at least me, I think, are worthwhile noting in this. Stuff that I'm excited about. There are a couple of things. There's uh, some sequels going on. Like uh, there is a Zombie 5, which is the uh, this Death Birds thing coming out. Which looks very interesting. I mean... I like the zombie series. I've got pretty much all the mainline ones. Uh, but I don't have that one. And I don't have Cruel Jaws released by Severin Films, which is going to be the fifth Jaws film. I don't know if these are really official sequels or not, but they look interesting. And I like, I like a good low-budget film, if I can get it. So... Nothing hurts. It doesn't really hurt to try this out and to take a look at it. But you never know. Maybe good, maybe bad. Maybe something completely different. <laughs> and now for something completely different. So, also something really big is coming out with Girl with Bamboo in Her Mouth, the series. Part 1 is making its lower cost release come out next week so there's two parts to this uh, the demon slayer series and i make fun of it but really and truly that's the only character that seems to get memed it's always memes about her and this is a little girl with the bamboo shooting in her mouth um i don't know what that's about but i'll find out because i'm going to get this uh eventually it's on my radar uh, trust me it is it's definitely on my radar and it is well worth the checking and speaking of that, there is a really cool one called The Elephant Man. Now, under normal parts, I would probably pull it like we did in the old days. Let's see if I've got it up close, but I do. See, now, I'm not going to get the Criterion version because I've got this really freaking awesome UK release. And I've shown this off in the, in the pickups before, but I love that. Look at that pop-up. That's just amazing. And the 4K works on anything, and so do all of the special features. So it's not there for me, but I think it's going to be worth it for many. Also, there is a crap ton of these 10 feature ones. The two that I like, that I'm looking at the most, are the uh, focus features and the illumination 10 feature. Because they're not just these packs otherwise i wouldn't be paying like no like i think it's like 80 some dollars for each of these these are the full-on releases with all the special features and it'd be kind of cool to have all of like the minions and all that stuff in just one little tight package there and it's just kind of cool another thing i'm excited about is evil dead one and two for steelbook there was a limited steelbook for FYE that did Evil Dead 2, but I'm kind of glad to have them both consolidated in one because I only have the German steelbook, and I would like to just get them all in that beautiful 4K. I just I want to see that, and uh, Best Buy has that coming out. I've got it pre-ordered. It's coming to me next week, so maybe I'll show it off when I get it. Uh, who knows? So... Um, Galaxy Express 999 Part 3, which, by the way, does finish out the series, comes out. I really want this series. I don't know. I'm going to try and hold off until the winter time to see if it goes on sale, but I really need to get these. These are on my list. It's really high priority. There's a couple of high priority ones on my list that I need to get, and this is one of them. I mean... There's another one that's kind of cool, and it wouldn't be bad to upgrade. Again, let me see if I have it with me. No, it's not back here. But I have the DVD version of this, and this is the Jaws 3 movie collection, which has all the sequels. Not Cruel Jaws, 
but it does have uh, the other three, Jaws 2, 3, and uh, Vengeance. It's, I don't know, there's something cool and like this cheesy coolness about that series that just makes it fun. And having it on Blu-ray is kind of cool. I like having these things in a little bit higher fidelity quality-wise. So, yeah, you know, just something fun. Also, you probably heard about this if you watch What Movie One's channel, and that's uh, 13 Ghosts. Ghost Ship, which is getting released. I am really psyched. I would love these all in just one Dark Castle collection. Just House on Haunted Hill to Gothica. All of them in like one really awesome like Friday the 13th style box set. I would love that. But they're 30 freaking dollars a piece. And that's really hard for me to pull right now. I mean, I'm saving up for one thing and I'm only able to save like 50 a paycheck towards it. And it's going to take me a long time to get. So this is one that's on my radar eventually. I could probably pull one a paycheck. <laughs> But I need to catch up. I mean, there are already three in. Uh, you know, the next one in line, I think, is either House of Wax. I think it's House of Wax. So I want to say House of Wax and Gothica are the only two that they're missing from those early horror days. But let me know if I'm wrong. When they were remaking all the, like, features. I think the Haunting remake should also, even though it's not really a part of the Castle collection here, it... I think it would be really cool to get another one of those style remakes of that as well because it was a fun film it wasn't the best but it was a really cool remake nevertheless um mall rats is getting an arrow release another one that i'm really psyched about that i really want and sadly is probably going to be sold out long before i can even afford to get it but i've just got the blue I mean, i've just got the dvd of mall rats i really would love to upgrade I want to get all of the Kevin Smith stuff upgraded. Mallrats is one of my favorite films of his. It's not everybody's, hardly anybody's, but it's worth it. Huh. At least in my opinion. So My Hero Academia is getting to Season 4. So Season 4 Part 1. Now these should be around. I was kind of worried that they were... I didn't understand why it was taking so long to do these combined ones. I've got the giant box that has the first three seasons in it, but I would love to get this. I just don't feel like I should right now. I mean, they have finally released season one and two now in the full. I'm sure season three is going to follow, so maybe they're going to get up in there and we're going to get a full season four release, which would be a great thing to hope for. But if worse comes to worse, I will get into it. I've already seen season four, so I'm not in a rush. But I really would like to get this as a part of my collection. My Hero Academia is just awesome in general. And finally, we have the Persona 5 $300 Aniplex set. This is the reason why I'm saving. Now, I'm 100 in. <laughs> so, uh, and by the end of the week, it'll be halfway. And then three, so another month, maybe, month and a half. Yeah, you know, October, yeah, is two, so that'd be another, so it'd be 250 So early November, I'll be able to order it. I'm sure supplies will last. They don't do tons, but the demand is usually so low that they manage to... It's not like the Gamera set where they just sell out right away. It'll still be there when I'm out for it, but I really want it because... I've gone to a great lengths to secure all the other Persona anime out there. I even have the Persona 3 movies. And I would just really want to get this one on here. Because it would be great to have as a companion. Have all the other ones there. Oddly enough, I've, I've not the only one I haven't watched so far other than 5 is the 4 series. I've seen Persona 4 Golden, but I've not seen the Persona 4. And it's also funny because I've only lightly played the games. I've played a little bit on each of the games, but I've never actually... It gets very complex for me with the monsters. One day I'm going to have to just watch somebody do like a, a full playthrough of one of the games so I can get it, get the hint as to like, okay, this is the best way to play it. But um, 
Okay, that's just my take on it. I know we ran through pretty quick, but I, I wanted to make this a quicker video just with some uh, thrown out aspects. So what do you think? Uh, let me know. Uh, put your comments down below. What is it that you want to pick up? What did I leave out that you want? I know Jake's going to be dropping a line on it. Maybe tonight. Depends on if I can get everything together for him. But we'll see. In any case, we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.